we must understand that when we push the poorest of the poor to a level of desperation, then desperate people will do desperate things. We're seeing that across the world. The, the number of young people being trained as terrorists, the number of young people that feel completely hopeless, the number of people that are just going into crime in order to just feed their families. We can't judge these people because we run the economic system, we run the social system, and the more that we exclude ordinary people from making an extraordinary difference, then the more we're going to have of these problems. My approach has been very much about empowering the poor, ensuring that they can co-create communities that are green and sustainable, empowering the women across Africa, across India. We have 13 million orphans in Africa, 8 million orphans in India. These are the, our future generation. These are our human capital that all of these countries so desperately need to make sure are healthy and educated and play their role in the economy. And so this is really common sense into common practice. And now for the first time with a combination of technology, stakeholders, cooperation, collaboration, and the finance, we can be the change that we want to see in the world.